Moving on for now, more than 1,300 people have lost their lives. Over 33 million have been impacted by the floods that continue to wreak havoc in Pakistan. There are 458 children among those dead. The latest figures have been released by Pakistan's National Disaster Management Authority. And the rescue operations continue on the ground. Tens of thousands of Pakistani citizens are currently living in relief camps. Thousands of others have taken refuge by roads located on relatively high terrain. A few thousand even entered a college building seeking shelter. When the flood water rose in Kherpur and Meher and started inundating the camps for flood displaced people, these people fled from there and came here. This is not a registered camp set up by the authorities, but these people broke the locks and settled inside the rooms. We have no facilities for them because an educational building has just a few rooms and bathrooms, and over 2,000 people have settled here, including around 5 to 700 children and around 450 women. Meteorologists are expecting even more rainfall in the coming days. They say the disaster is far from over. Scientists have blamed this calamity on climate change. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif and other members of the ruling regime have been visiting the flood hit sites to survey the damage. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has already held one telethon to raise money for flood relief measures and is planning to hold another one on Sunday. The government has estimated that the floods have caused damages to the tune of 10 to 12 and a half billion dollars. It estimates that 37% of the population has hit poverty and inflation may rise as high as 27% by the end of this fiscal. The State Bank of Pakistan has said its GDP growth projection has decreased from 5% to 2%, reports saying that the agricultural sector would suffer heavy losses in the aftermath of the floods. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.